Hello guys, are you still having trouble coming from the top? I know I am. I'm not an expert golfer or a PGA pro. I'm a 12 handicap on a good day. But I had tried these two things over last week. It's really working for me. Maybe it'll be the trick for you. So obviously you have to come on the inside out. So one thing I saw in this video was that to practice or rehearse, to exaggerate the inside out, like before I even start setting up, I just do a couple swings like this to get my body used to coming inside out. Now, I used to stand up here, right on top of the ball. So when I would come down, I would always cut the ball a little bit. So what I've done is I've stepped back, one head back. So it looks like I'm gonna miss the ball if I come with my regular swing, but what happens is my brain's not gonna let me. So I come down, I rehearse my inside out. Now, the only thing that's gonna happen is when you're here and you're coming down on that ball, let me grab this quick. So finally, you're gonna be coming on the inside out and you're gonna come on this line here, but look at the head, open. So as I rehearse, I know that I need to be not here, I need to be here. So that's where I grip the club. So I basically, I, I practice or rehearse where my head's gonna be. I re-grip and then I hit through. Let's see it in action. So I'm gonna be here at the impact. So I grip right there so that when I sit up, that's gonna be way close, but that's fine. I rehearse my inside out and one club head in front of the ball. Now that was pretty solid shot. Felt good coming off the head. So let's see what it did. This is my, uh, so we're gonna replay that shot. This is my gap wedge. And you see it started right. And it's got like a baby draw to it. And you'll see here, the cloth path was on the inside out. Had a 497 spin. Uh, now I'm looking for distance. I know that's short and my speed's only 80, but uh, that's all I'm practicing right now. Inside out, close head, and uh, hopefully that'll help you guys.